Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Drew here, and today I'll be taking a look at Windows 8. So, um, I've got the 32-bit version here on my laptop, and hooked up my laptop to my monitor so I could show you guys. And um, it's pretty cool. So far, everything seems to be working except this app here called Socialite. I don't know why it's not working, but it won't let me log into my Facebook account on here. But everything else seems to be fully functional, so uh, let's get right into this. So first thing it is that you'll notice is uh, this whole new start page. Um, I guess Windows is trying to make the mobile look available on computers now. And at first I thought this would, wouldn't work at all. But after playing with it for a couple of days, I've realized that this is actually really cool. And of course you always have the option to go to the full desktop experience right here. And you could probably even uh, do away with the whole tiles thing if you don't want it. You could probably disable that somehow. But anyways, here's your normal Windows look. And then if you press the Windows key on your keyboard, it'll take you right back to the tiles page. So I'll just review a couple of these tiles, I guess. Uh, first off is Internet Explorer. Um, it's not like the regular Internet Explorer, it's a little different. Instead of the bar being at the top here, it is down here, the address bar. The back button is down here and some other stuff like bookmarks. So I'll just type in Google dot com enter and there we go it's loaded up and if you click on the web page it'll get rid of that address bar so it's full screen um, if you want the well in any application on here if you want the settings you have to right click anywhere on the page and it'll bring up the settings for that application you're in so up here you, you can see you can make new tabs and stuff I really don't think I would use this on my computer, this Internet Explorer browser. You can go back to the old Internet Explorer browser on the full desktop. Um, I use Google Chrome anyways, but I think that Internet Explorer is uh, geared more for tablet users, mobile users. And um, we have the control panel here. You can change some settings. This is just a simple control panel. If you want the full control panel, you have to go to the desktop version. Uh, let me get out of that. And um, we have a weather widget here. It'll tell you the weather, weather where you are, the highs and the lows for the day. A um, couple of random widgets here. Here's an RSS feed. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's a Twitter app. That is a stock app. It's pretty nice. So I'll click on it and show you guys the stock app. So here it is. It shows you a graph here. You can look at all the different stocks and everything. And read some stories on this side. And uh, here we have some games. We have Connect 5, 5 in a row. Uh, piano, Paint Play, Alarms. Just some random utilities and games that you might find interesting. Um, yeah, Mopod's pretty cool. You can go in here and listen to podcasts. So here I have a podcast. It's called Tech Stuff. So I can go here and it's on pause right now. But let me... Uh, I think the speaker's on. Okay. So I can go here and play this. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So anyways, while it's playing, I can go back to the full desktop version and browse the internet while it's playing my podcast, which is... I mean, you could do that before, but it's kind of nice how the layout is now. Um, let me go ahead and stop that. There are also a couple other cool apps. Here's a chess app right here. Um, another fun game where you make words. Um, alarms. Simple alarm app. 
Uh, let me get out. How's that? And some other apps, flashcards. Uh, this one lets you look at different flashcards, make your own flashcards. No, it doesn't let you make your own flashcards. But you can use these preset flashcards to study stuff, I guess, if you wanted to do that. Um, yeah, this looks like it has a lot of potential for developers here. If you're interested in making a Windows 8 application, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I can't get into the store right now, because when I open up the store, it says this is not available on the developer preview. So, it'll be interesting to see what kind of apps we get here. Also, when you install a program on your desktop, you'll get, um, what's it called, a tile. You'll get a tile for that program, and it'll put it on the start menu. Like when I downloaded Google Chrome, it did that. You can take them off or leave them on there, or whatever you want to do. Also, here we get, here's how you get into your settings. You can adjust your volume. Uh, you can power off your Wi-Fi notifications. I will uh, restart it real quick so I can show you guys the lock screen. So it'll restart itself here. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Seems to be pretty fast at booting up. So yeah. So far I really like it. I think it's this the tile thing has a lot of potential. Um, what I've seen on the internet is a lot of people hate it, but you know, it's a big change and people will have to get used to it. So it's still restarting. And waiting, waiting. Hopefully it finishes sometime soon. So, um, while that finishes, here's my gaming mouse I got. It's a Razer, uh, what's it called? Razer Death Adder? Yeah, Razer Death Adder. It's pretty nice. has two program programmable buttons here. So, and uh, you can program the mouse wheel. You can click up, down, and then just your regular right and left buttons. And it's wired. I actually like the wired mice better than the wireless because they take a lot of batteries, and I hate changing the batteries a lot. So it's still restarting. I have no idea why it's taking so long. You know, it might be faster if I just turn off the computer and turn it back on. I've got my laptop over here hooked up to it. And my Lego ship. So I'll turn it off. Turn it back on. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm running uh, uh, running Windows 8 on a Dell Inspiron 1720. Um, it's a pretty nice laptop. It's big and heavy. Though. Okay, so here we go. That was fast. It just booted up. Here is the lock screen. Now, you may be wondering how you unlock this since there are no buttons. It's actually pretty easy. All you do is you get your mouse here, click, and slide. So that was definitely made for a tablet, and here's probably the lock screen that was meant for computers here. I'll just type in my password real quick. Probably doesn't matter if you see it, because you're not going to come to my house and use my computer. I don't think you will, but anyways. <clears throat> so that's what the lock screen looks like. And there it is didn't take long at all to boot up. Oh, and I'll show you guys another cool feature here. So let's say you have... Let's go to your desktop, you have that open. You have Paint Play open. And you're drawing here. Say, that was your masterpiece. And you want to go to your desktop. You just drag, and you can get to your desktop. And if you want to... Oh, it still has flashcards open. Go to flashcards. Docs, go back to your masterpiece, and it's right there. So it's multitasking, I guess, in 
of visualization. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want, you can get a Windows 8 developer preview right now. It's free, of course, and uh, just put it on a flash drive and install it. So I hope, hope you like this review. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.